Roguelikes to me are one of those genres that are just there. Like I don't have a problem with them, and some of them can even be nice little time sinks, but I can never really sink my teeth into them. Rogue Legacy, Super House of Dead Ninjas, and even Enter the Gungeon don't really hold my attention for all that long before I either get frustrated or bored. But I mean for some reason, and your guess is as good as mine, the roguelike about a little baby who cries on dead fetuses and shit is the one that got me hooked. I, I could have seen that coming really. Rated E for everyone. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth is not just my favorite roguelike, it is one of my most played games of all time. I mean, holy shit have I put a lot of time into this game. That's a lot of damage! And you know what? I don't regret it one bit. It's a truly fun and addicting game. Like, that's all that matters. The reason this game hooked me is because there's so much to learn. Like how you can't take red heart damage if you want to get a deal with the devil, which items work together to make some truly fucking awesome synergies, and which items can completely destroy a run and suck complete monkey cock. All of this is great. And even though the original Isaac isn't bad, it doesn't hold a candle to how Rebirth does it. Now, Rebirth had gotten two expansions to it, one of them named Afterbirth, and the other named Afterbirth Plus. The original Afterbirth expansion at first wasn't received too well by fans, filled with some bugs and some bullshit things added to the game and how poorly the Keeper ARG was handled at the beginning. Maybe not telling your fans why literally half of the promised items aren't in the game is kind of kind of a good idea, I, I, don't, I don't know. But in the end, I love Afterbirth even with all of its flaws. I, I think it's a truly good expansion to the game and adds a lot of things I like. The same can't really be said for Afterbirth Plus. I I'm just gonna come out and say it. Afterbirth Plus is one of the worst expansions ever and does so little right that I feel like it is actually a downgrade to Rebirth and Afterbirth. Now, if you like the expansion, that is 100% perfectly fine and more power to you. But I wanted to make this video to show why exactly I believe, I believe, that Afterbirth Plus is a terrible expansion to Isaac. Okay, I feel like starting out strong, so I'm gonna talk about the worst addition to the game. Greedier mode is a fucking disaster. It in no way captures the essence of what made the original Greed Mode a competent time waster. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the original Greed Mode, but at least it set out to what it was trying to accomplish. The original Greed Mode was about risk versus reward, and seeing them pay off with more money. In this mode, it's all about the coins. So you know what? Fuck it! Why don't we just make you get like two pennies per wave and I, I don't know why we- Fuck it, we were high when we made this. Like, wouldn't it make more sense to add more waves, but also keep the amount of money the same, or hell, even increase it? I mean, it is called Greedier Mode, you should get more money. This completely ruins the balance of the mode, because it becomes less about risk versus reward, with hitting the button and losing coins, and becomes more of, I have to go through this wave or else I won't have enough money to buy literally anything in the shop. It becomes less about strategy, and more about luck with the items you get in item rooms and shops. Also, it's just plain lazy. No new floors were added to the mode, and good god, what did they do to Ultra Greed? The original Ultra Greed fight is my favorite fight in the game. He has cool mechanics, feels like a fair challenge, and has a beautiful design. But Greedier Mode decides to add a second phase to him, which sounds good on paper, but in actuality, it fucking blows. His health still scales with the damage, so he still takes an eternity to kill, but now all his attacks are explosive. I swear, the explosive penny shot is one of the hardest to dodge projectiles in the game. And literally all they added to the fight was that move, a brimstone laser, and his new butt stomp. It's just incredibly lazy and not at all fun to fight. Ultra Greed 2.0 is without a doubt the worst fight in the game, and a fitting final boss to this shit stain of a mode. So one of the things I was most excited for with this DLC was the new floor being announced. A whole new floor after the chest with a whole new final boss and ending. That sounds fucking awesome. Well, it should have been. But the void as it is, is really not great. For starters, you have no incentive to go there. The only rewards you get are the potential boss pull items from fighting lazily thrown in normal bosses. The bosses feel so out of place and you most likely are already OP as shit by the time you get here, so those bosses go down easily and the items you get 99% of the time won't matter at all. Also, the floor is way too large for its own good. I mean, it's 
huge! And with no real good items other than boss pool items, you won't want to go through the entire floor and waste an extra five minutes of your time trying to find the damn boss! Also, the reuse of all the other floors and the aesthetic may fit the theme, but come on guys, that's fucking lazy. Now I will say, Delirium is a fun and unique fight and is definitely one of my favorite things added to the game. Same goes for the true final ending, I think it is a fitting end of the game and it works well. But the hassle you have to go through to get to him with no real reward makes it so not worth it. It's the same problem the Dark Room has, a fun as shit final boss but no one goes to it because the Dark Room isn't worth it. What a massive fucking disappointment. Now, it's no secret that the original plan for the expansion was that it was mainly going to be focusing on mod support and mod tools. All the bosses, items, enemies, they were all going to be side projects to the main focus, the mod tools. Now that would explain why the expansion seems rushed and unfinished, which is no real good excuse. But may I ask, if that was the whole reason for the expansion, why is the mod tool such garbage? Many modders have stated that the mod tools in Afterbirth Plus are a joke. They are severely limited, buggy, and unintuitive. And this was reportedly the reason why this expansion took so long, and yet here they are so unpolished and buggy. These modders in these articles are talking about why they quit modding the game because of these tools. That isn't acceptable. When these tools took so long to make, they should at least be usable by veteran modders in the community. This was a feature I was really looking forward to and they just dropped the ball on it, and it's, it's a shame, really. Well, here's the main reason why I wanted to make this video. Fuck. This. Challenge. I wouldn't call this challenge the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life, but I will say it's the most frustrating and tedious part of the game by far. It is the worst, most poorly designed challenge ever. Yes, even worse than the speed challenge, and fuck the speed challenge. Fuck the speed challenge, that's your requisite fuck the speed challenge before we get started here. The rules of Ultra Hard are actually very simple. Beat Mega Satan with no hard drops, Curse of the Labyrinth, Curse of the Unknown, Curse of the Lost, Curse of the Blind, and Curse of the fucking Maze. This means that you have no mapping, you have no idea where your items are, you have no idea where you're going, and on top of that you're getting teleported all over the damn place. <laughs> Sounds like so much fun! Can I just say how aggravating it is trying to navigate a floor while you keep teleporting all over the place and losing your footing because you have no map and no idea where you were going, then suddenly you find a familiar landmark and then Curse of the Unknown teleports you back to Bufu fucking Egypt. Oh, and did I mention most enemies are champions? This challenge isn't impossible, but it is so damn tedious and annoying. It's the old law strategy of hold R until you get a treasure room, then hope to god it's a good item. And even then, you need to pray you get four or five other good items so you can break the game and win. This challenge just seems to throw all semblance of good game design out the window. It does nothing but frustrate the players, and for no good reason. Yes, it's supposed to be challenging, but this is too much! This isn't challenging, this is just boring, and frustrating, and tedious. And you might be thinking, well you can still just skip this, it's optional. Yeah, it's optional, but at the same time, I want to complete the game, and I gotta torture myself with this goddamn challenge! With the lost, it's you have terrible. Holy Mantle, and with the Keeper, you can easily farm for Swallowed Penny. Here, you have no option but just to spam R and hope to God you get something good. It's not fun. If it's not fun, why bother? Couldn't have said it better myself. Here I'm going to list off like a lot of other minor annoyances I have with this expansion. And yes, these may seem like not that big a deal, but they do add up. Alright, here we go. Monster spawns being incredibly annoying, the BCR fucking up stats, Polyam being a relatively mediocre character in the long run, the glitchiness of the entire expansion, the such of ease, no actual good new items, daily still being filled with hackers and boring, no patch notes, random nerfs and buffs to items that don't need them, and worst of all, no real game change except added to the game. Just to name a few problems. Afterbirth, even though some may hate it, added a ton of new stuff to the game and was fun. And this just feels like an update instead of an expansion in comparison. And I know some may say it's because this was always meant to be a smaller DLC, but my issue with that is that should never be an excuse. If they're trying to charge $10 for this expansion, which is $1 less than Afterbirth, which was a full-on crazy expansion that added tons of new shit and was 
relatively good in my opinion. I, I, I can't buy that. I, I can't accept that. Look, I don't want to make videos where I'm frustrated and angry because we already get an annoying amount of those on YouTube as it is. But I love Isaac. And I hope people can see this video as more criticisms of the game rather than mindless bashing. I hope they can learn from their mistakes and figure out why exactly fans like me didn't enjoy this expansion at all. Go play Anti-Birth instead. That mod is good as shit, and it's free. If you own Rebirth, of course.